pros and cons, they're the way that we think about life. Really often, whether we write them on a notepad or not, we're thinking about what is it gonna take? What are the things that are gonna be good or bad about a decision that we're going to make? And then we make it. Well, let's talk about the pros and cons of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Get your notepads out. Here we go. All right, everybody, welcome back. My name is Andrew Guywitz. I'm a local real estate agent here in the Green Bay, Wisconsin area. I love this city and I love talking about it and helping people get to know it better. So today, we're gonna talk about pros and cons when it comes to Green Bay, Wisconsin. As always, there's more that could be shared than what I will share today, but these are the ones that come to mind for me as I think about Green Bay. So, let's break it down. Who likes to do pros first? Who likes to do cons first? Oh, it's probably like 50-50 split. That'd be my guess. Well, I'm just gonna go with pros first because I'm a positive thinker. Let's talk about those first, get ourselves excited, and then we'll talk about some of the negatives or cons that I think about when I'm talking about Green Bay. So, here are the pros. Pro number one of Green Bay, Wisconsin is coming to you in just a few seconds. Before I share though, Will you please like and subscribe to the channel and hit that little bell so that you can get updates when we release new content. Okay, I made you wait. Thanks for doing that. So pro number one of Green Bay, Wisconsin has to be the cost of living here. It's really affordable to live in Green Bay. You can look up my video on the cost of living to learn more about that, but it's, it's one of the things that just comes to my mind right away is my dollar goes farther here. So you're gonna love that. Pro number two for Green Bay, Wisconsin, to me, has to be that there's a professional sports franchise in a city of 100,000 and a metropolitan area of maybe a couple hundred thousand, there is a professional sports franchise here. So you can enjoy high level athletic experiences in this city. What a cool and unique opportunity that a city like this could have professional sports team and there's tons of history and exciting things about this franchise that you can learn more about by just going to the actual you know stadium and doing the tour or things like that or maybe we'll make a video sharing more about that but it's a really cool thing about this city that there is a professional sports franchise the Green Bay Packers that's here and that cares about the community and it's just a really unique thing for a city of this size. Pro number three of Green Bay Wisconsin to me has to be the water. We've got Green Bay, we've got Lake Michigan, we've got the Fox River and all sorts of other lakes surrounding the Green Bay area that are just full of opportunity for us to enjoy and experience. And I mean, at, at least sit on the patio somewhere and just take in a really beautiful view of huge bodies of water that have all sorts of fun recreation going on. And you can obviously take part in that too. Pro number four of Green Bay, Wisconsin, to me, has to be just the variety of neighborhoods that this city has. So what I mean by that, and, and specifically to me, when I'm thinking about that, what I think of is just that there's an option for just about everybody to be a homeowner and to be connected to a local community and neighborhood in this city. And I think that that's cool because it offers people all across the socioeconomic scale an opportunity to own and you know value and take care of something and be a part of a local community. Pro number five of Green Bay, Wisconsin, to me is that this is a city with a decent population that I think also maintains a more small town feel. And what I mean by that is there's a close tight knit relational bond in this city between people in this city, at least as I've experienced it. And so once you're here and you get to know kind of how things work and, and make connections and relationships, this city really can feel tight knit and close to you, which a lot of people value having that kind of, you know, friend sticking up for friend kind of feel. And so I think that's a pro of Green Bay is that there's a small town feel in a larger 
City. Pro number six for Green Bay, Wisconsin, I think is the new development that's going on in this city. I don't know when it started exactly, but there's been in the last years just you know, development after development that's happening, whether it was restoring the river, restoring the downtown area, or adding new homes in the surrounding communities of Green Bay and in the city of Green Bay itself. The Packers investing lots of money in the Titletown district and all the fun and cool experiences that you can have there, including even living there and, and all sorts of different offerings that way. I just see that this city has potential and is, is developing and growing. And I think that just speaks to where the future is for this city. Just lots of opportunity and cool experiences to come. Okay, lastly, pro number seven of Green Bay, to me has to be just the amount of different learning and educational opportunities there are for secondary education. So there's the University of Wisconsin Green Bay, there's St. Norbert College, there's Bellin, there's also NWTC, and just opportunities for people to learn and be you know, developed in whatever trade or area that they wanna grow in and just give back to this community from that. And so I think it's really great for a community to have a campus culture and a local educational culture to it because it brings new life and ideas to the community. And then also just lots of fun and excitement that young people bring into a community. Well, I know that was a long list of things that I like. Like I said, I'm a pretty positive person. So of course my pros would probably outweigh my cons when we would be talking about a pro and con list. I need my wife here or something to help me kind of balance out. She's not super negative, but she definitely is more realistic, most likely. <laughs> okay, let's talk cons of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Con number one, I've mentioned this one before in other videos that I can you know, link in here, but I think a con of Green Bay, Wisconsin has to be the bitterness of the winter. You know, a lot of people like snow. I, I don't mind snow, I enjoy it. I definitely prefer warmth, but I don't mind winter or snow. What I hate is when you walk outside and your eyeballs freeze or your car doesn't start because it's so bitterly cold that just normal life is hard to function. And that happens here. There are some times where, my goodness, it's hard to go outside and pump gas in your car or like the roof is collapsing because there's so much snow. And so I think that's just the extremeness of winter. That's really a con for me when I think of Green Bay. All right, con number two. I gotta point this one out. I've looked at surveys and census data and things like that. And to me, as someone who values a lot of diversity and um, differences and uniqueness in the beauty of culture, there could be more diversity and more, you know, culture brought to the community by having a more wide ranging variety or more substantial variety of different ethnicities and cultures represented here. Con number three of Green Bay, Wisconsin, to me, has always been just how spread out it is. There's not a lot of building up in this city, it's a lot of building out. And I think that's always been a challenge because I want to do things fast. And if you're anything like me, which the numbers tell me that people are more and more wanting instant, instant gratification, the drive across town is like, come on, I want to do this now. I don't want to do this in 30 minutes or whatever. And so that's a con for me is just how spread out things are. Or even if I have friends that live on the other side of town, it's like, man, I want to see you more. But it's, you know, it's not that easy just to shoot over there all the time with a, you know, life and the things that go on. And so that spread out nature just kind of sucks. Lastly, con number four is the small town feel of Green Bay. It's so funny because I talk to people from, you know, coming from different places and some of them will tell me, oh my gosh, Green Bay is such a big city. Wow, like there's so much for me to do. And other people will be like, oh my gosh, like where did I just move? It's, it's so small, there's nothing for me to do. I think both of those things can exist in the same place. And that's why I pointed out as a pro and a con, I think it all depends on how we adjust and adapt and make the most of the place that we live, which is why I love Green Bay. It's why I'm invested in the community and wanting to learn and, and make the most of my time living here and I want you to do the same. 
So I point that out. There's a small town feel that might leave you just as frustrated as it does excited, depending on who you are. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching this video, talking about the pros and cons of Green Bay, Wisconsin. Like always, I'm sure there's things you would share when you think about the pros and cons of Green Bay for you if you live here. If you're moving here, let me help you get to this city, find a house, buy it, and then tell me what your pros and cons are as you get to know this city better. I would love to work with you. I'd love to make a connection and get to know you better and help you get connected to this community and enjoy the pros that I have experienced as I've lived here and you know maybe minimize the cons or things like that. Make sure to hit that like button. Also subscribe and hit that little bell so you can get alerted when we release more content as it comes out. And as always, thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it and we'll talk to you again soon.